Alright guys, now welcome back to Water PSUs and here we are with an RX 6700 XT system. Now this is the out of the box testing and as you can see the GPU goes all the way up to 98 degrees on the hotspot and 81 degrees on the core. And it does so while being relatively quiet, it's not actually a bad result, but it's the out of the box curve with a fresh paste on a new card. So let's undervolt it so that we can get a bit more performance, lower the power consumption, lower the temperature and in general get a smoother experience. Let's get straight into it. All right guys, so here we are with the actual undervolt. Now first thing you want to do is just open the AMD adrenaline software. You can either do this by right clicking uh, here and select open adrenaline software or you can just search adrenaline software on the start button and now you want to go on performance tuning right here where we are. So performance tuning then you will be looking at this and you want to click on customize right here at this point you want to go here and click enable to allow us to change stuff then you want to go on advance to control and hit enable now at this point this is the slider we're working with okay it's our voltage and we want to drop it from 1.2 volt to 1.1 volt now voltage doesn't scale in a linear fashion so this is actually about a third of the power consumption of the card it will drop from 180 to about 120 to 130 watts so it's actually a pretty big drop and then here you want to put if you want a setting that will work for every card in existence you want to put 2400 then i will give you uh, some more advanced settings later on and then you want to go right here and just bring this slider to the max because this is the power limit but we are limiting the power limit by using the voltage since the power is voltage times ampere, well, whatever. Basically, uh, just max this one and then hit apply. And the undervolt is done. This is it. You can open it, you can test it. It's gonna work much better than before. And now we will quickly show you. Let me open up hardware monitor. The reading is actually pretty close in the hardware monitor, but I double checked it with the watt meter. But basically, if we take a look here, as you can see, we are at 120 watts right now which is two thirds of the initial watts, which is 60 watts less than the initial watts, okay? So this is actually really good. Um, and then temperature wise, now I will have to leave it run for a bit, but usually it drops about 10 degrees by maintaining the same noise, or it drops like five degrees and it makes less noise, so it's really good. Now, for those of you still here, I will give a couple extra tuning tips in case you wanna test. So. What I said up until now, you can just copy and it will work. But in case you want some extra performance, uh, here are my tips, okay? So, first of all, you wanna definitely overclock the VRAM. So you just hit enable here. And then basically you can just max the slider. It will work on like 99% of the cards. So you can just max it and test it out. And then on a good percentage of the card, you wanna tight the timings, which is this setting here, timings. You wanna set quick timings and hit apply. Now this is gonna give you quite a bit more performance, so try it and test it in a couple of games and if it's stable, just keep it, okay? On, on this card, I will be keeping it. Now, if you really wanna go the extra mile and just troubleshoot and like see how good your card can be, I would keep the 1100 voltage point and then you can play around with this one a bit. So you shouldn't go higher than 2500, it's pretty much never gonna work but you can try up to 2500, okay? On this specific card, it works with 2500, but yeah, this is not the actual frequency the card is running at. It's not like on Nvidia. This is just the max frequency. So um, even by putting it at 2400, the card is actually going pretty much as it was before. So we're not really losing performance, just dropping watts, if it makes sense. If you drop it to 2400 and do the memory, you're usually increasing performance over stock. So just do that. So I will just apply everything and just quickly, quickly show you my results. But then again, you will have to test it extensively in case you want to use this more aggressive setting. You can also copy it. It might work for you, but you really should test it. And here we are. So anyway, guys, I really hope the tutorial was helpful. And I have many undervolting tutorials here on the channel, also for CPUs and for basically all of the NVIDIA cards, the RTX 3070, 3070 Ti. So you might want to check them out. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.